Hi, I'm Chris Lopez, part of the Zero Trust team here at Cloudflare. In this overview demo of Cloudflare Zero Trust, I'll be covering major use cases related to each of our platform services, including access, gateway, and browser isolation. Let's get started. Here in the access pane, we can see I've onboarded multiple applications to my Zero Trust platform. Once I put my resources behind Cloudflare, I apply strong, consistent authentication methods to all types of SaaS and legacy applications with its Zero Trust rules. I'm going to start with a self-hosted application, Jira, and in the process, contrast traditional methods of application security alongside our platform. In this example, I've not only onboarded this application to Cloudflare, but I've also set up a non-Cloudflare access method in this virtual machine with OpenVPN. Here, I'm inside my legacy setup. This user is going to access a self-hosted Jira application through an OpenVPN client. Rather than authenticating to the resource itself, this user is getting access to a network, which represents a significant security issue if it's improperly configured. Once I've logged into OpenVPN, I select my Jira bookmark inside of the browser, and that takes me to the login page. However, I could poke around inside my network and access resources which are outside the scope of my job, like this firewall I'm logging into. This kind of lateral movement is unfortunately common in many legacy implementations. Once inside my firewall, I want to point out another security flaw. I've had to configure a rule to enable the OpenVPN port through my network, effectively punching a hole in my firewall that I'll need to carefully manage moving forward. And in general, the fewer holes I have in my firewall, the more secure my organization will be. I've also enabled zero trust network access to my Jira application using our app connector, Cloudflare Tunnel. This enables my users to remotely authenticate to this privately hosted resource and only this resource from a URL. The security posture elements also come into effect now. One of my access requirements here is an active device client, and we can see I'm denied access until I enable it. I'm using Okta as my IDP for this demo, but Cloudflare integrates with most major identity providers like Azure, Google, and OneLogin, while also supporting custom SAML integrations. Another way to manage access to this service is by using Cloudflare's edge network to route traffic to a private IP, like a VPN. Cloudflare provides users a zero trust environment within private IP ranges in a way that preserves the user experience. Now in this legacy environment, I previously accessed Jira through its bookmarked IP over OpenVPN. And with the device client active, we'll be able to see I have the same exact access I had before, but without any clunky login processes. In addition, the firewall that I was able to access before while authenticated over OpenVPN is now unavailable to me, an end user. By using Cloudflare Zero Trust Platform to manage my application, I've made my user experience faster, more secure, and more reliable. Cloudflare can provide the same level of protection for SaaS applications as well, functioning as an inline CASB for my instance of Salesforce here. On the left, we can see access rules I've defined for this application, and Cloudflare will check if they used a hard key as part of the device posture rules. If they didn't, the user will not be permitted access. I want to take this moment to illustrate how access and gateway can seamlessly interoperate with each other. Just like how our device client was part of the posture check for Jira, I'm using gateway rules to block off access to certain parts of Salesforce. In this case, I don't want this user to have access to setup pages. While you probably have your own access control configured for this application, this kind of rule can apply to any URL path on any website your users access while their device client is active. Both services are equally important in securing my onboarded applications. And Gateway helped me filter L4 through L7 traffic in a way that made my private routing segment possible. Gateway can handle L4 through L7 traffic filtering for your entire organization as it uses Cloudflare's global network to scale. Let's take a quick look at what that means for both your administrator and end user experience. Cloudflare has a strong DNS filtering service for on-prem and remote users. Instead of using local hardware or built-in features on your firewall, you can offload this to Cloudflare and spare your team the headache of making sure X number of devices have identical configurations. Here, I've built a simple rule that blocks gambling sites, and when that request goes through the device client to Cloudflare's Edge, it's blocked. I can also do this for customer sites. 
I've built a number of predefined locations in Gateway, and when I enable the content filter for the Boston office, I am blocked from gambling again. We can apply DNS policies that target threats like botnets, crypto miners, anonymizers, and new domains, but also enable you to provide blanket content control across your sites and user groups. Now with HTTP filtering, I can become a bit more granular with what I'm going to allow. To give you an example, let's create a rule. I could create a policy here that blocks certain file type uploads based on user identity. I could create a policy that blocks certain file type uploads based on application. Or as you saw in the Salesforce example, block specific pages of an application for different groups. Also with HTTP policies, I can apply browser isolation to any URL my employees encounter. Let's take a look at that in action. I'll enable a browser isolation policy and then log into Office 365. Our remote browser isolation is unique from common methods like video-based pixel pushing and page scrubbing. Video-based RPI will quickly bog down your network at scale, while page scrubbing runs the risk of breaking interactive elements of the web page. Because Cloudflare utilizes its own network, it can stand up and tear down a virtual browser tab without any loss in performance. Now that I've logged in, I'm going to use a quick command to check whether or not I'm in an isolated browser. This menu that pops up on the side is our isolation toolbar, and it's giving us live performance metrics on this session and how fast the Cloudflare's Edge is communicating with my native device. Our browser isolation solution is designed to interoperate effectively with existing JavaScript and other web elements. As I navigate to my calendar, I can create an event here like I was on my native browser. I'm also showing you here that there is no noticeable drop in performance even as I perform more complex tasks like dragging these events across my browser window. Next, I'm going to navigate to mail, and we can see that I created some decoy emails with identifying information here. However, I cannot copy paste it out of the browser, nor can I print or upload any files. This is because I've enabled data protection controls for my isolated sessions, an easy way to help protect your data from both sides of the transaction. Finally, we can see here that I've put a phishing email that leads to a bad site. Now, typically, you can't filter every single bad email that shows up your way. And no matter how well you train users, you're going to have someone that clicks on this bad link. Well, one really cool part of browser isolation is that if I had downloaded something that would brick my computer, it is contained to the isolated browser and then destroyed at the end of the session. Here in Analytics, I'd like to draw attention to another feature of Cloudflare Zero Trust, Shadow IT Discovery. Simply put, Cloudflare Zero Trust can analyze HTTP requests in your environment and give you a list of which applications your users are frequently accessing. It'll also indicate whether or not these applications are approved for business use. You can change the approval status of these applications inside the Shadow IT Discovery pane, and once you've done that, you can actually create policies for these groups of applications in a way that reflects your acceptable use policy. Cloudflare Zero Trust is a complete enterprise-ready platform, which when applied to your organization, results in a 91% reduction in attack surface by isolating risky sites from end-user devices and application access from networks, 80% reduction in time spent addressing remote IT access tickets, 60% faster onboarding of new employees and third-party users to any app or private network resource, and you can get started across all use cases in under 30 minutes by starting a free plan today.